Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're in PowerPoint. I'm going to show you how to create a randomized spinning wheel. So what we're going to look at creating is something that looks a bit like this. So where I click in the middle, it spins. When I click again, it stops to give the illusion of a randomized wheel. So let's escape this and make a start. So first thing I'm going to do is insert a new slide. So go insert, new slide. We just want a blank slide. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the chart option, we're going to click on the drop down and we're going to choose a pie chart. We just want a 2D pie chart. So we'll click that and that will insert that. And what you'll find opens is an Excel spreadsheet. But don't worry, what we're going to do now is we want to add a few more categories to our Excel spreadsheet. So we'll pick that up and just drag it down. Let's go with 20 categories. And then what we can do is if we sit just change these, so we'll leave them as they are for the moment. We'll select those four, and then we can click, because we're in Excel, we can click and hold that, and we can drag that down, and that will just repeat the naming, hopefully. No, it's not done. Let's try that again. What it should do is it should rename it so they're each different names. So we'll just go through and quickly do that. I don't know why it hasn't worked. Okay, so we've got them all the same uh, name format. To make sure that each is equal size, we're just gonna put one into the box. So we'll just put one into each box. And then when we head back to our presentation, we should see that now we've got equal sections there. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna change where the label appears. So at the moment, the label's appearing at the bottom. We want it to appear within the chart. So we go to quick layout options, we can see the various options. That one will give us the percentage, but which you don't need. So we're going to choose that one, which doesn't have the. Um, so now we've got all of our areas in labels inside the box. If we wanted to change the formatting, we can click onto one. We can go back to the home tab and we can select the text color and make that white. And we could obviously alter the size as well. Let's make that 11 may fit better. And we could also um, add other effects if we chose to. So we've now got our labels inside. Next thing we're going to do is going to insert a shape for the indicator to say where the wheel has stopped spinning. So we'll go to shapes and we're going to use a triangle for that. And we'll spin that round. Uh, I like to click on it, remove the outline. I think it looks cleaner. So no outline. And um, we'll position that so it just overlaps there and then the final thing we're going to do is we're going to create our stop start button so we'll do the same thing again we'll go to insert we'll create a shape if you hold the shift key that should give us a perfect circle that will do and we're going to again we're going to remove the outline so no outline we'll then double click and we'll put spin and stop we'll just double Double click the text, we'll go back to the home tab. We're going to reduce the size so we can see it within that window. There we are, stop and spin. And then we can click and position that. Well, you can position it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in the middle. So we've got that in the middle. Okay, so we've now got all of the components we need. So next we need to add our animation. So we're going to click the chart and we're going to come up to the animation tab and choose spin. Having done that, we then need to set a trigger. So we're going to come up to trigger. I'm going to choose on click of oval three, which is that center section. And then we're going to just double check that we've got the settings right here. So we want on the timing, we want the repeat to be until next click. Speed wise, if we set it to one second, it spins just a bit more appropriately. Uh, and we're happy that those elements are correct. We then want to add our trigger which we've done. So next thing we want to do is we want to get it to stop when we when we finished the spin. So if we click on there, add appear, and then scroll down, and where it says on click, we just need to choose the oval spin and stop. So that now should all work. So let's just try that. We'll go to preview, and we'll click spin, and we click stop. 
it picks a, a name that's listed. So there you have it, how to create a spinning randomizer wheel in PowerPoint. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.